We're here again in flip flops, and uh, I've worked out a pretty good deal with this guy. I bought these other Fords from this collector, and I've managed to buy two more vehicles from him. And we're going to take his mother's old tractor that had been sitting 30 years that we got out from between the trees there. If you go watch our old video, and we're going to load this thing up and use it to pull the new cars out of the junkyard and save them too. We got the tractor loaded up. Me and Ralphie's headed to go uh, pull these things out with the old tractor. Hopefully she'll do a good job for us. How cool is this? This thing was parked here, right there in between these trees for 30 years. <laughs> we got it going, and now we're back to get these vehicles. 67 Thunderbird with a 390 in it. And I think this is a 64 Galaxy wagon. How cool is that? And even better, who would have thought this? It's got a four speed in it. Floor shifted four speed. Uh, unfortunately, this window has been down for years, so I'm pretty sure this car has some floor pan rust, but we'll figure that out. Here's the other one. I just love this. It's the same year as our Lincoln Continental. Same color, I think. And suicide doors so we got some junk to move before we pull these out there not be any snakes in here i'll tell you that right now what <laughs> it's a possum isn't that a possum skull yeah oh my gosh hey thunderbird has a trailer hitch stop it well they're up i think it will the back ones i don't think are going to air up because they're One's completely off the beat already, but anything that rolls will help us. No dirt falling out of that.
son of bird's tires wear up. Believe it or not, even though this is in the dirt, it's taking air. It's leaking now, I hear it. Believe it or not, this one's airing up. It's underground too. Some of you probably already guessed that, I guess. You're, but I guess we're gonna try to get the rollback back there. It's a real tight fit, but maybe we can get it. Well, I feel like my dog got ran over. This thing having to get dad back in here. We finally snuck it around the side there, but uh, really was hoping to do that with the tractor, but didn't work out. It happens that way sometimes. This rollback's really slow. Moving the roll back. Be careful. All right, you have to steer it again. Where are all the wheels stuck? All four of them? They're not rolling at all. No wonder it wouldn't pull it. We gotta aisle this thing up more. How you like our backer stick? This one's gonna be fun to get going. All four tires locked up. Maybe a little too big for this roll, but I think it's only a 16 foot bed. You know, the Super Coupe made this thing uh, do a wheelie, so we'll see how this goes. Man, that thing was a bear to get out of there. It did not want to move at all. Not much under here, but if you watch one of the earlier videos, that car used to sit over there and uh, it had actually been moved here recently. I don't know how they moved that thing. There's a better look at the uh, Thunderbird, though. Man, this one, I'm kind of second guessing taking this one on. That looks like some work. Top fit. What a beauty. Well, I really hate that didn't work out with the tractor. I wanted to have this magical moment where the tractor goes back to where it was left and pulls these cars out, but it just didn't happen. What are you gonna do? <laughs> the door flew open. Dad's gonna freak out. <laughs> He'd be worried. <laughs> Drive the whole way with it open, I guess. He told me we should strap it, and I said, No, it won't come open. 
going to be so mad. I told you we should have strapped that. I told you we should have strapped it. Dad, I told you. Why I, didn't you strap it? I told you that, son. What, you're it, crazy. It, 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 now, I'll be honest. I don't know much about old galaxies and stuff like that. But uh, I know rust. Got a little rust in the quarters. Squiggle. She didn't even know what a station wagon was. She didn't remember my LTD, I guess. But I would think this has a nine inch under it, wouldn't you? Nine inch Ford. Man, I, it's just like locked up solid. The brakes, that, that was unfortunate. I don't even know how we're gonna unload it. I just thought I'd give you a look at it up here where you can uh, see how much rust it has and stuff. Check out that old sticker, that's cool, huh? Air shock. It's about to get too dark to do this. Luckily, we got a little street light there on that pole. Why in the world has that been down for years? <laughs> don't make a lot of sense, does it? Here's some uh, cool old ads that I found about these cars. I want to start adding these into the videos. I think you guys might like them. My dad actually had some old uh, dealership books from the 60s that I loved looking through when I was a kid. But you get some really interesting uh, pictures of people back from the 60s and 70s, standing next to these cars. Some of them are really funny, and it really cracks me up. Check out that hairdo there, huh? That's nice. Apparently, uh, skydivers like four-door Thunderbirds. I didn't know it. What about this purple one, huh? Them people, kind of weird. I love the old station wagons, though. They're on a picnic with uh, Yogi Bear. I like the Country Squire with the wood grain on the side. My dad had a 61 model. Look at that guy. He's so happy on the porch of his cabin. All them kids, they're not buckled in, right? That kid in the back is going to get killed. This is the creepiest toy I've ever seen in my life. Well, we're on our second day of coverage now of moving these cars. Got my church hair on today. Tractor, we got it unloaded. It's a... Uh, Got its tail firmly tucked. We're gonna do a walk around video of that wagon, but first we're gonna go back and get this Thunderbird, get them both over here, and we'll do a good walk around. So stay to the end of the video to check that out. Squeezy's with him. Hi, hey, Squeezy. Probably should have a hazmat suit on, according to some of the viewers. You know what I'm worried about? What snake mate? Well, he said he's seen an eight-foot long snake here. Uh, right this car. Look how far in dirt this thing is. It's crazy. Look at that. Isn't it funny. I don't know. This one probably won't hold air for long, but maybe we can get enough just to help us. Coming up. 
can't remember the, the three dots. I feel like the three dots is a 31 spline, nine inch. I can't remember though. This guy's not wanting to stay out, but hey, the fact that there's four of them that'll actually come back on the bead and air up is incredible. I should probably give me a lucky sevens ticket. Now, when I used to work for record starters, they taught me you can't push a winch cable out. This one's been moved. We gotta look through this car. Like it never even happened. This may be the most epic dirt report I've ever reported on. What the heck is living in there? We gotta get a flashlight and somebody brave enough to look down that hole. Why this big mound of dirt get here? I don't know. Cause they dug it out of the hole. They dug it out, I guess, yeah. How crazy is this, huh? What the heck is in this hole? Oh my God. Please don't be a snake. Please don't be a snake. That goes on forever. Is this a coal mine under here, this car? The cartel built a tunnel to Mexico under this car? That's huge. I'm glad he bought that roll back. <laughs> it's getting lighter as we drive. <laughs> the door came open again. Dad asked me again if we needed to strap it. I was like, no, it won't come open. <laughs> I love that front end with the hideaway headlights. A big Thunderbird emblem. Now we got a real air compressor here. We just have trouble with casing cone pressure. That's hilarious. It'll probably come around, you know. I done to deserve this man super coupe 67 bird turbo coupe got a super coupe in the garage another turbo coupe man blessed and highly favored so this guy right here is a 67 thunderbird like i said supposed to have a 390 under hood i've never opened the hood i've never looked in the trunk i've i've only just leaned in and turned the wheel so we're gonna look at it together this is a 50 in thunderbird and uh this was the first body style that had a full frame instead of unibody. All the ones before this were unibody. They made no convertibles in this body style. And this was the only generation that they made in a four-door. Uh, like you just saw, they had hidden headlights also. And uh, I think the 390, according to what I've looked up, had 315 horsepower. 
and the internet say they made a 427 model uh, as well that made like 345 horse some of you experts could probably tell me more than i know about this thing but man what a what a cool car i mean back then they put so much effort into styling these cars so let's let's dig in a little bit we're gonna open up some doors and stuff and see what we can find there's no telling what's in here just what little bit i saw when i had this door open earlier i love this interior look at the seat that seat will clean up I mean, that one over there, I don't know. I do know, actually. I think I know. Look at this. Whatever animal dug that hole, dug up through the floor and was eating the seat. So hopefully that raccoon is not in here still because I don't want to deal with that. I guess it's got power windows. Check out these cool gauges. It's showing 94,000 miles. Yeah, that's what the pedals are saying. I think that's a clock. I originally thought that was a tack when I looked in here, but the gauges look to be in pretty good shape. I don't know how long it was sitting underneath that carport, but hopefully it's been in the drive for a long time. I love this big console. It looks like a like a fighter jet or something in here. I believe we're gonna have to clean this one up before we get it running. Is that the, what does that do? Oh, that's the inside door handle. Okay. Man, whatever animal was in here. You think it was that possum we saw? Maybe that's the culprit was that possum. Man, he ate. He just had a party in here. Can you believe that? Man, that's sad that it ruined those seats. You know, because these seats are so cool looking. We got some brake parts in there. So that's telling. Some shocks. I'm not sure what all these vents are. It has the vent there and the one in the back. I love the style. You think there's anything in the club box? Will it open? No luck there. Probably has 36 ashtrays in this year model. We got the keys. Nothing. Nothing except for some fuses and it looks like a trunk release button that I probably shouldn't have pushed. I'm guessing this is where the key goes. Wouldn't you have loved to have seen this thing going down the highway pulling something it only has one bolt and this is loose so i must have worked on it at some point i don't remember what's in here look how deep that trunk is oh cool old thunderbird hubcat i wish there was four sitting here we got a coil so we got ignition problems for sure something's lived up in there for a while Got his nuts in there. We got ignition issues over here too, so please don't be an animal in there. Okay. Man's a deep trunk. Alright, let's see our first look under the hood. That's a long hood. Oh um, okay, we got nests in there. Hey, we actually got a battery. It's like the first car we bought recently that actually had a battery with it. What's that, an old Carter carburetor, maybe? <laughs> Definitely some squirrel action in here. Look, these are the actuators for the headlights, the hideaway headlights. Got an AC condenser. This is probably power steering cooler, I would guess. Somebody took the AC belt off, so compressor probably locked up tight as a drum. Something's eight on the box there. It has an alternator. Apparently in 65, Ford went to an alternator, according to my sources. Hey, carburetor's free. Uh, it's definitely an FE motor because the intake goes up underneath the valve cover rail. So it's supposed to be a 390. I don't know how to tell them apart. You tell me. We got our mouse hunter. He's decided he's going to look around, see what's in here. What do you think, Scoot? Is it in there? What's in there? Here's your better look at that interior again. This has a post, unlike that Lincoln we bought. You know, the, the Lincoln Continental, the post stops right there. It's a hardtop car. I love the interior. It's so cool. Well, we're going to do a walk around this one now. I've seen a couple Wolspers flying out of this one. Don't you love this Air Jack sticker? How cool is that, huh? I posted that on the gram earlier. 
But uh, this is the last year of this body style or this generation, whatever you want to call it. Uh, they actually did some styling changes to this car to actually make it more aerodynamic for NASCAR use. So that's kind of cool, huh? Uh, this one's supposed to have a 289 in it, which, uh, you know, that's like the smallest V8 that I believe these things came out with. This was the first year they came out with seat belts in these cars standard. And they made some of these, no, not the wagons, obviously, but like two-door models that had the 427 in them and had the lightweight fiberglass parts to drag race. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I guess this is a country sedan. You guys tell me. I don't know the trim levels on these. I'm more familiar with Chevrolet trim levels, you know, like the Biscayne, Bel Air, Impala. I know them, but I'm not good on these old Fords. So tell me what all that means. I don't know. Now, it's got a few whiskey dents in it. I mean somebody somebody must have liked to do a little boozing because they've backed into more than one thing with this car i think this is well no i was gonna say this is the only good corner but it's got a a little whiskey crease in it too look at that right there good thing i'm a body man huh that door's all jacked up dad probably did that all right let's get these doors open and see what we can find Oh man, the same guy. This must have been his summer home or something. Well, he's got a hole right there. Same dude was living in here. Was this a little cushion for the seat? I don't know. How about this? Three speed in the floor. That that's the selling point right there. Was that three speed in the floor? Well, we got brake issues. That's hundred percent positive. I wish that window wouldn't have been down because that door panel might have made it through all this if it wasn't. Will this open? Yeah, not much action in there. Yeah, no, no such luck on that door. This door don't shut. Dad didn't strap it shut when we were moving it. But here we go. How many miles does this thing say it has? 39,000. That's got a little slop in it. So it must have been a three speed on the column, obviously. Somebody got him a J.C. Whitney Mr. Gasket shifter for it. They were keeping an eye on their oil pressure, though. What are the pedals telling us? Yeah, that's probably, I don't know, the pedals got a little wear. We're, we're thinking 139 at least. What's under this? Huh? Some more bad interior. Pretty cool. Well, this is a two-door wagon. Have to wear them up. Yeah, that's a two-door wagon. Didn't even know it. Yeah. Hey, we got some more overload shocks, like that Falcon has. What the heck is that? Off of, who knows? I don't know nothing about motorcycles. Yeah, uh, is that like an extra cushion for the back, the third row or something? Let's see back here. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Check out those cool seats, huh? I like how they're split. You can fold them down. They look like they're in decent shape, considering how rough the car is. We got all kinds of holes in the floor, though. Burn, burn, burn. So I'm out of gears. I think I was in reverse taking off. Well, unfortunately, we don't have any keys this thing, so I may have to, like, climb in there to get in the back to see what's in there. Let's see what we got under the, the bonnet here. <clears throat> well, we got spark plugs out, so that means there's problems. For sure. An old two barrel with an aftermarket breather. This thing, somebody must have drag raced this bad boy. It probably it got some glass packs on or something if I was guessing. Got a little rust under the battery box, of course. Oh man, look at that Flexo light fan with the spacer mod. This was a race motor. He didn't tell me it was a racing motor. Golly. Looks like the same master cylinder the Falcon has. I'll have to go ahead and put some transmission fluid down in the cylinders on this since they're already out. You know, you know it's not good inside that bore. So once again, we got a generator on this model because it's a 64. Apparently in 65, they went away from that. So uh, I guess Chevrolet, I think was a little bit ahead of them on the alternator thing. Well, I've climbed in this little Dutch oven and uh, we got some moss in here and it's uh, 207 degrees in here. Here's the other part of that cushion. I'm assuming for 
the third row seat in the back. I guess I see a line there. It looks like this thing folds up, and that's probably the seat cushions for it. I really wish we had a key to get in back there. Gosh, it's so hot. Here. Wasp. Dirt. I still gotta make it church tonight. <gasps> I went ahead and got that window wedged up. Lucky I had that perfect piece of trim I just ruined. But uh, we'll make a bunch more videos, don't worry. We're gonna try to get this thing running if she will run. We're gonna try to get that Thunderbird going. So just stay tuned, you know? Just keep watching me. Check out my other videos. Check out my video about getting that tractor going. If you haven't, we got a Ford Falcon we got running recently. I appreciate all the views. I really do. Uh, we also got videos of me getting the turbo coupe running. Pretty soon I'm going to be getting the super coupe running. That's the plan at least. Anyway guys, till next time. See ya.